Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Helen and today I'm going to be sharing every unread book on my TBR with you. I have a huge TBR. I recently made it um, rainbow in terms of book covers, which I've been wanting to do with my main shelves. However, I dislike separating books from different series, so I decided to do it with my TBR shelves as a lot of these are either the first book, second or third book in a series. And in general, I thought it wouldn't mess up my um, being able to find books too much. So I recently did that. I also realised how many books I had on my TBR and thought that doing a video like this would be a great way for you to let me know if there's any books I should pick up sooner rather than later. So I will be putting a little counter up somewhere in the corner of the screen to let you know how many books I have. I don't actually know myself though I think it's around 200 unread books. It's too many I know. I do want to say that all of the a lot of these books are either my parents or I have borrowed them from my grandfather which means that they have been read. I haven't just bought them and have them sitting around. So yeah, these are all the books in my room that I count as on my TBR that are then more that I have on my Kindle and also next door a lot of my parents books which I am able to read but um, I'm not at the moment. So I hope you enjoy. Let's start with some of the read books. The first book we have is Dynasty by Tom Holland. I have read a bit of this. Uh, this is by Tom Holland the historian, not Tom Holland the actor. I feel like I should clarify that. Then we have Eight Will Fall by Sarah Harrian. Hamlet in Purgatory by Stephen Greenblatt. Stephen Greenblatt wrote one of my favourite books of last year, The Rise and Fall of Adam and Eve. I will link a video where I talk more about that below. Scandalous Lady W by Hallie Rubenhold. Hallie Rubenhold wrote The Five, another book I love. The Satanic Verses by Salman Rushdie. This is one of my parents' books that I've borrowed. Three Fires, The American Dreams of Laura Ingalls Wilder by Carolyn Fraser. Sepulchre by Kate Moss. 1599, A Year in the Life of William Shakespeare by James Shapiro, who's another author who I really enjoyed reading for A-level and therefore bought some of his books to read for pleasure. Then we have Herodotus, The Histories, translated by Tom Holland. In the Shadow of the Sword by Tom Holland. I really like his style of telling history. This is why I have so many of his books. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Peter Lou, The Story of the Manchester Massacre by Jacqueline Riding. The Female Eunuch by Jermaine Greer. I know Jermaine Greer is an author who is incredibly problematic. I bought this when we were doing um, A-level English and she was one of the extra bits of reading that we were expected to do. While I've read sections of this, I've never read the whole thing, hence why it's still on my TBR. I am wondering about unhauling this, as while I can admit that Jermaine Greer was incredibly influential in feminism in the 1960s and 70s, I also think that her she's become rather bigoted in her discussion of trans people, and I don't particularly want to own a book by someone whose views I find so abhorrent. The Devils of London by Aldous Huxley. Arch Enemies by Marissa Mayer. Vox by Christina Dalka. The Entire Lord of the Rings trilogy by J.R.R. Tolkien. I have read the first one, The Fellowship of the Ring, but never got any further. The Robber Bride by Margaret Atwood. The, Near the Ancient Near East, A Very Short Introduction by Amanda H. Podney. Byzantium, A Very Short Introduction by Peter Saris. Utilitarianism, A Very Short Introduction by Katarzyna de Lazi Radek and Peter Singer. And Alexander Hamilton by Ron Cherko. Chinese Lives, An Oral History of Contemporary China by Zhang Zinzin and Sang Yi. What is History by E.H. Carr. This is actually my ex-history teacher's book and I need to read it and give it back. The Winter King, The Dawn of Tudor England by Thomas Penn. The Penguin, History of Modern China, The Fall and Rise of a Great Power, 1850 to the Present by Jonathan Femby. I am halfway through this. As you might be able to see, I have never finished it though. Love in a Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Hatshepsut, The Female Pharaoh by Joyce Tilsadale. Reality is Not What It Seems, The Journey to Quantum Gravity by Carlo Rovelli. Earthly Paradise by Colette. Exit West by Masin Hamid. The Golden Thread, How Fabric Changed History by Cassia St. Clair. The Last Day by Andrew Hunter Murray. I am so excited for this. I cannot wait to read it. I, Eliza Hamilton by Susan Holloway Scott. Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. 
Mansfield Park by Jane Austen, Fire and Hemlock by Diana Wynne Jones. This is a retelling of Tamlin and another book I'm very excited to read. The Problem of Pain by C.S. Lewis. Two omnibuses of Lovecraft, Omnibus One at the Mountains of Madness, Madness and Omnibus Free, The Haunter of the Dark. I am missing Omnibus Two. I bought both of these in charity shops and got what I could find. Sabriel by Garth Nix. And now we're into the greens, which are probably my favourite colour of these shelves. We have Paper Girls Volume 3, which is by Brink K. Vaughan, Cliff Chiang, Matt Wilson and Jared K. Fletcher. I have read Volume 1 and do not own Volume 2, so probably won't be reading this quite yet. Mao, The Unknown Story by Yong Chang. Wild Swan's Three Daughters of China by Yong Chang. Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. Wilder Girls by Rory Power. Bone Quarrier's Moon by Catherine Purdy, and Loki Where Mischief Lies by Mackenzie Lee, a book I've started and have just not continued with. Spring by Ali Smith, Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen, The Moderate Soprano by David Hare, Almost Adults by Ali Pantani, this was very kindly gifted to me by Chloe, thank you. The Islamic Enlightenment, The Modern Struggle Between Faith and Reason by Christopher D. de Bellage, Time and Time Again by Ben Alton, Any Panic in the Bible of Dreams by Sylvia Plath, Lorna Dune by R.D. Blackmore. Wicked by Gregory Maguire. I also have both of its um, sequels. Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. Never Tell by Catherine Orton. North Child by Edith Patou. And the Swerve How the Renaissance Began by Stephen Greenblatt. Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. The Night Country by Melissa Albert. All the Wicked Girls by Chris Whitaker. The Private Lives of the Tudors by Tracy Borman. The White Devil by John Webster. I'm really excited to read this. I did The Duchess of Malfi for A-level and absolutely loved it. So I really want to read some more of Webster's plays. The Plays of Oscar Wilde by Oscar Wilde and A Passage to India by E.M. Forster. Globe, Life in Shakespeare's London by Catherine Arnold. Shogun by James Clavell. Feminine Mystique by Betty Friedan. The Brief History of the Dead by um, Kevin Brockmeyer. A Spot of Bother by Mark Haddon. King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. Confessions of an English Opium Eater by Thomas De Quincey. A Thousand Acres by Jane Smiley. This one intrigues me. It's a retelling of King Lear, but it's set on a farm sometime during the Great Depression. Captain Corelli's Mandolin by Louis de Bernier. On the Road by Jack Kerouac. Into the Crooked Palace by Alexandra Cristo. Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. The Mercies by Kieran Millwood Hargreaves. How the Marquis Got His Coat Back by Neil Gaiman. Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. This is another book that I've started but never finished. The Crucifix Killer by Chris Carter. I'm about halfway through this and just haven't picked it up for a while, so it's back on my TBR shelves. The Queen's Rising by Rebecca Ross. The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. Annecy Boys by Neil Gaiman. To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. Venus and Aphrodite by Bethany Hughes. Bethany Hughes is one of my favourite authors. I love... Um, Helen of Troy by her. So I'm looking forward to reading this. 10 minutes 38 seconds in this strange world by Alif Shafak. Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. We Hunt the Flame by Hafsha Fazel. Charlotte Grey by Sebastian Fox. The Snow Child by Eowyn Ivy. Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Another book I've started and never got very far with. The Darkening Age by Catherine Nixie. The School of Good and Evil by Samain Chinani. Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth. A Life Like Other People's by Alan Bennett. History of Norway by John A. Yillak. The Devil in Amber by Mark Gatiss. The Interpretation of Fairy Tales by Mary Louise von Franz. White Tiger by Aravind Adija. The Paying Guests by Sarah Waters. In Some Other Life by Jessica Brody. A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. Bella Revolte by Lindsay Miller. The Golden House by Salman Rushdie. Homo Deus by Yuval Noah Harari. Cromwell by David Horsepool. The Gothic by Nick Groom. Hollow City by Ransom Briggs. La Motte de Arthur by Sir Thomas Mallory. Our Languages Began by Daniel Everett. The Big Sleep by Raymond Chandler. The Twelve Doctors of Christmas, which is an anthology. The stories are written by Jacqueline Rayner, Colin Brake, Richard Dunworth, Mike Tucker, Gary Russell, Scott Hancock. And illustrated by a variety of people as well. The illustrations are done by Nick Harris, Melissa Castrillion, Sarah Ginassi, Rod, Rob Biddulph, Stefan Gnopoulos, 
Stuart Easton, Charlie Sutcliffe, Jennifer Skemp, Rowan Eason, Captain Chris, Ashling Lindsay and Tom Duxbury. Mary Queen of Scots by Anthony Fraser. Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice. The Night is Darkening Round Me by Emily Bronte. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by JK Rowling, John Tiffany and Jack Thorne. I don't know if I will ever read this. I might end up just either DNFing it or putting it with the rest of my Harry Potter collection. The Familiars by Stacey Halls. Mary Barton by Elizabeth Gaskell, one of my favourite authors, and I don't know why I haven't read Mary Barton yet, but I will at some point. Boudicca by Vanessa Collinsbridge. Death Note Black Edition by Bigsumi Obaha and Taikshi Obata. The Prince by Machiavelli. The Census Taker by China Mayville. The Brothers Karasimov by Dostoevsky. Um, I will get to this at some point, but it's a thousand pages long. So maybe that'll be my big book next month. Masquerade by Laura Lamb. Bitter Fruits by Alice Clark Platts. The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton. Women in Power by Mary Beard. The Voyage of Sir Francis Drake Around the World by Richard Hackloop. The Wind Up Bird Chronicle by Murakami. Fire End Life and Legend by F Fiona McCarthy. The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. Tales of Angria by Charlotte Bronte. The Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells. Of Love and Shadows by Isabel Allende. The Radium Girls by Kate Moore. Plays by Chekhov. The House of the Spirits by Isabel Allende. War and Society and Revolutionary Europe circa 1770 to 1870 by Geoffrey Best. This is a book I started. Um, it is very difficult to get into. It's also quite heavy. That's my excuse for not having read it yet. I know this was on my January TBR. Richwood by George Mann. Other Words for Smoke by Sarah Marie Griffin. Fifty Shades of Feminism, which is an anthology. It's edited by Lisa Apignazi, Rachel Holmes and Susie Orbach. Things a Bright Girl Can Do by Sally Nichols. Who Cooked the Last Supper? The Women's History of the World by Rosalind Miles. The Shadows Between Us by Trissa Levensal. Capital in the 21st Century by Thomas Piketty, another book I was meant to read in January. Russia and a Thousand Year Chronicle of the Wild East. This is not an A Thousand Year Chronicle of it. I got a hundred pages into it. And in that 100 pages, we covered 900 of those 1,000 years. A Suitable Boy by Vikram Seth. I'm saving this for when I go somewhere that has no Wi-Fi, no Netflix, and I either want to knock myself out or I want to spend a very long time reading this 1,500 page long book. The Last Man by Mary Shelley. Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. Redshift by Alan Garner. Flush by Virginia Woolf. French Decadent Tales, this is a translation by Stephen Romper. And a Glass Darkly by Sheridan Le Fanu. A Rose for Winter by Laurie Lee. With St. Joan by Bernard Shaw. A Tale for the Time Being by Rufo Zeki. The Stone Book Quartet by Alan Garner. A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. Women and Gender and Renaissance Tragedy, A Study of King Lear, Othello, The Duchess of Malfi and the White Devil by Dimpna Callaghan. The Vaw by B. Caitling. Volpone by Ben Johnson. And A History of the Bible, The Book and Its Faith by John Barton. I've started this and I am up to the New Testament and it is so heavy. Yeah, this was not the light introduction to the Bible I was hoping for. It was very interesting, but I need a solid six months between each time I try to attempt to read this. My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Artessa Maffei. A Sudden Wild Magic by Diana Owen jones Contested Will, who wrote Shakespeare by James Shapiro. The Last Days of New Paris by China Mayville. Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. Children of Earth and Sky by Guy Gavriel Kay. Bridge of Clay by Marcus Zusak. The Lost Tudor Princess, A Life of Margaret Douglas, Countess of Lennox by Alison Weir. The Hemlock Cup by Bethany Hughes. The Romance of the Rose, which was originally written by Guillaume de Loris. This is a translation by Frances Horgan. Night and Day by Virginia Woolf. The Turn of the Screw and Other Stories by Henry James. Rivals in the Tudor Court by Darcy Bonnet. Black Tudor's The Untold Story by Miranda Kaufman. The Sixteen Trees of the Somme by Lars Mitting. The Passion by Jeanette Winterson. Medieval Philosophy, A Very Short Introduction by John Marabon. A Tale of Time City by Diana Owen jones The Book of Gusty Women by um, Hilary Rodham Clinton and Chelsea Clinton. Elizabeth I by John Guy. Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. Warcross by Mary Lou. 
Winter by Ali Smith, The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton, The Rubber Bride by Margaret Atwood, The Ladies of Grace Adieu by Susanna Clarke, Kafka on the Shore by Haruke Murakami, The Dark Vault by V.E. Schwab, King's Men by Nora Sakovic, and finally The Italian by Anne Radcliffe. This is another one I'm really excited to read. I think ever since I read her Anne Radcliffe's Wikipedia page when I was about 13 I've really wanted to read this and I found a um, copy in a charity shop just before lockdown and now I ha own a copy so I cannot wait to get to it. <laughs> books on my shelves. Thank you so much for watching this. If you have read any of these please let me know. Please let me know what you thought of them. I kind of never realised how many I've got until I really look at them. I have been on a book buying ban for a while partly because I've run out of money so I haven't been buying any more books. I've been working my way through these. I think what this is showing me is that I need to up the number of non-fiction books I read per month as that is one of the things I have a lot of that isn't really going down. I think I also need to start looking at some of the classics on my TBR shelves more and picking those up more often. I didn't actually count them but I will have counted them somewhere on the screen so however many books I own that I have not read will be there. I need to read all of these. If there's any of them that you think I should read first let me know down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!